Good news, bad news here. Uh, this is Exploding Kings on Pilgrim's Nothing. A pretty crazy map. But, uh, you know, with updates that come in and all these things changing occasionally, the maps break. And yes. we only have one king here. So we wanted to do three kings with explosions. Instead, it's going to be one single king. If you lose that king, you are defeated here. This is Regicide. And this is Pilgrim's Nothing. Uh, it's a good map. And even though it's not exactly what we intended, it will be a little less harsh on the players, I imagine. Now, I explained to them, because, you know, there are YouTube uploads of this, but I never know if people have seen it. Explain to them how it works. And I said, you got to get to the shoreline, get a TC up as quickly as possible, and then the best way to get food would be to dock. So they are asking about three kings, because we tried to do three kings, and guess what? The three kings... They are not going to happen here. Look at A16. A16's like, hey, this is where I should end up. And no, uh, shouldn't end up here. And there they go. All right. So uh, not Varion's fault, but people are talking about Varion in chat. And Varion's going to be the focus because Varion, uh, he is someone who's notorious for losing his king. There was once a Regicide Rumble game. I forget which Regicide Rumble it was, but it was a couple years ago. He's been around the community a while. And he lost his king there. And he lost his king so much that if you search his name and nothing on my YouTube channel, there was actually a map named Varyon Nothing, which was a special twist about how, like, losing kings. Um, long story short, the reason I picked him for this was because I thought we were going to have three kings, and I was wondering how he would fare. But we've got one king. He is over here in the green playing as the Vietnamese. Now, it would be completely unfair to him if we were to run over here and delete the king. <laughs> uh, but if Blue were to do so, obviously, Blue would be dead as well. And here comes Red as well. And Red's like, hey, what's up? I want to just set up shop here. And they're all going to be running into each other. So let's get to the introductions. Here in the orange on the other side, we have A16. Playing as the Japanese. Not bad. Um, in the purple, we have... I don't know how to say this yet. Kabanog? Kairbanog? We have purple, playing as the Celts. Uh, great civilization, actually, for a map with a lot of wood. In the yellow, we've got Fake News CL playing as the Incas. Not bad to see. Uh, actually, you get a free llama with the Incas, so profit once the TC is complete. In the teal, we have uh, Cabasco, which kind of sounds like Tabasco, which I'm going to stick with occasionally. Apologies there. Playing as the Burmese. In the gray, we have Dr. Magnificent, a very humble player, um, <laughs> playing as the Turks. And then we have this jumbled mess. In the blue, we've got Dominius, who's dropping a TC next to Red, who's playing as the Dravidians. And then Varian, who we touched on, who's playing as the Vietnamese. So, I uh, am very excited to see how this works. Players are confused because they went into this thinking there would be three kings. But since there's only one, you can't do any funky strategy business with your kings, which is what I was thinking. Now, what is important to note is that the three king version lessened the damage of the explosions. So I think that when the explosions happen with the kings, it won't be quite as severe as it would normally be in exploding kings, which I guess balance wise is fine. Um, yeah, we have some Diplo already. Hi, orange buddy. Where's your corner? A16 says, hey, neighbor. And we'll see how things develop. But yeah, the best way to play this map is to dock the middle with one vill, exactly like we're seeing here from A16 and some of the others. And then you just spam fishing ships once you collect wood. All right. This map looks like a dinosaur spitting out an ice ball. That's the first time I've heard that one. But I, I do remember, actually, you know what? Now that I say that, I do remember saying dinosaur before. Most people say it looks like a butt. That's what most people end up mentioning. Um, but yeah, if you never heard the history of this map, because it is rather unique. Uh, obviously, it was based on Pilgrims, a map we do a lot, and it combined the aspect of Forest Nothing. Um, I was told by my good friend and moderator, Ducks, Hey, I've got a map for you. And this was, what, 2018? So four years ago? Gosh, we're so old. Anyways. Um, and, and Ducks was like, hey, I got a cool map. It'll be good for Diplo. And we loaded into it, and I saw it, and I was like, what is this? It was a complete bait. I thought, I think he, I think Ducks said, like, 
this is some one thing and it wasn't another thing. I forget. Anyways, I got completely tricked. You have to watch the video. And then we played with it and it was really entertaining and actually brought some really good games. By the way, there is one relic here and it is surrounded by monkeys with very defined butt cheeks, um, which, you know, credit to the devs for that one. Uh, Varyon allying though. Exciting news for him. And uh, some players were looking for the Diplo window. So what you should yes. end up doing is you should be fishing like crazy. And then you go up to yes. the Feudal Age. No, I will not zoom back in on the monkey butts. And then when you're in Feudal Age, you want to rush a market as quickly as possible. Sell wood and sell food to get gold. And then you can make trade cogs from the docks with that gold and eventually use that gold income to make more trade. And so there's just a lot of movement out yes. on water. Purple says, I bet everyone wants it to be in the corner. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Tabasco says, Gray, I'm below you, friends. And I'm sure they will be friends. Yeah, this area always has a little bit more open space. So if you ever want to farm, this would be the place to go. But that's about it for now. So. Don't quote me, Casey. Don't quote me. But, okay, seriously, I guess I am going to zoom back in on them. Is that not, like, overly defined? I guess if you look at the villagers, they're, they're chiseled. I guess it is the definitive edition. All right? These guys are shredded, man. I built the house first. Didn't notice resources are different here, says Purple. Gotcha. Oh, Purple eventually got the TC up. Is farming, which is painful, but you got fish as well. I guess that's not too bad. Um, Varyon has not... Oh, I guess Yellow has not accepted alliances with everybody. Which I would consider a mistake. Typically, you just want to ally everyone you can. And we'll have some time to build up here. With one relic, is it relic victory? Ideally, yes. Um, there's a legend who I haven't talked about in a long time. I highly suggest watching the Legend of Noob Nothing, guys. Legend of Noob Nothing. Check it out, please. Amazing fight to the finish. Long story short, Nothing Maps came out. He named himself Noob Nothing when he was trying to think of a name. Him against the world, defending the relic. It was just electric, man. Electric game from many, many years ago. Anyways, it should be that way. We have a rather tough time, though, uh, being able to trust the game's consistency with allowing relic victory. I think with the settings I selected, it should work. Obviously, though, you have to cut quite a long distance to find out. And I should be visible, because it's played on Explored, so everyone can see that. Hi, Yellow. You're south of me. Friends? Okay. So, uh, Green Red, looks like we're kind of close together. Yeah, this is, these are the conversations everyone's having. Didn't someone do the same against Tato as well? Yeah, Tato played in some awesome ones. There definitely were multiple players to go for that relic. But we have had people lose it in the final seconds, and we have had people win it in the final seconds. The noob nothing one was great because he was, like, clearly a noob. He killed, like, some of his own units while trying to defend. <laughs> I gotta rewatch that later, actually. I hope that's not weird, but sometimes I have to go back and just watch some of the old vids, man. Look at the eco count for fake news CL. 49 and then Dominius is at 45 and then you've got 39 for Dr. Magnificent but that's the fish guys you know you're gonna have the wooden come and you don't have a whole lot else so fish away eat through the salmon population while you still can T90 thanks for shaping the last few years of my life you literally brought AoE back into my life and since I didn't play any other game except maybe roller coaster that I hadn't had as much fun gaming in my whole life as I have in the past two years Dude, Kosh, I stop getting all feelsy on me. That means a lot, though. Thank you for saying that. I don't, I don't lose sight of that stuff. I'm so happy to have brought you and many others back. And, and uh, you know, it goes both ways. Like, I was just a kid who liked Age of Empires, and no one else did. All my friends told me to play a different game. <laughs> you're drunk right now, so you're feelsy drunk? I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I mean, all my friends told me to play a different game. My brother literally... Bought me games on Steam and said, stop playing Age of Empires 2. And I just kept playing and started making content. And it turned into this. So, means a lot. 
also very jealous. Uh, I will I will probably be uh, getting my drink on when I have my week off, but gotta focus on these comedy games, man. Gotta focus. Also, casting, drinking. While I do have to get around to making Liquor League happen again, which yes. is an event that uh, is quite fun. Not usually not a good combination for me because I get very giggly. Like too giggly. I can't even cast. Green, buddy question mark? Baryon says yes. Could you build a little dock there, please? I'm going to assume that uh, Purple was asking Varyon to dock here so the trade can go that direction. The best place you could trade would be kind of from Gray's position towards any of the sides here. Lots of double checking. We can share these trees, right, Blue? You know, they don't want to tramp on anyone's toes. Don't want to uh, cause any problems here, you know? Tell your bro that you now make money on AV2. He knows, he knows, and they're all proud of me. It is funny, though. He bought me every single Civ game. It wasn't just one. He was like, hey, boom, check your email. <laughs> I played one hour of Civ. <laughs> uh... I played one hour. I got Civ 1 through 6, I think it was. Or maybe 6 didn't exist back then. I don't know too much about it because I never really played it much. Yes. Okay. Uh, yellow, orange, we should trade ASAP. A16 says yes. Yellow agrees. Okay, so these guys are really... They have made this look rather easy. And I'm surprised, actually. Look at the eco counts. There was one player, which is quite sad. You've got Tabasco who has not fished as much. Tabasco, in fact, hasn't fished at all. <laughs> Cabasco is all about the farms. Um, so yeah, that 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 is definitely set Cabasco back. Thought this would be a short one. Gonna end up being a long boy, says Varian. Yeah, they went in thinking it would be three kings. But also, this right here is gonna be in the YouTube thumbnail. I just have a feeling. It's just, the story writes itself. That comment from Varian. <laughs> if there were three kings, someone would have used one of their lives to blow up somebody else at this point. But uh, we'll have to get that working for another time. T90, thanks for bringing me joy with your ability to put down farms. It brings me great joy to know that a so-called pro puts down worse farms. <sighs> yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I can help. Glad I can help. Man, I always switch between Civ, Crusader Kings, and Age. Gotcha. Yeah, I, uh... You know, if you haven't picked up on it already, I'm a big Age of Empires 2 guy. I also have a lot of reasons to continue with AoE 2 as well. I always think about that. Like, would I still be doing it? I definitely would still be playing and, and doing Age, but would I do it every single second? Maybe not if I didn't have so many people watching, but I just really enjoy making content and entertaining, and there's so much variety, so. At the end of the day, you have to love the game, though. Like, I don't care how many viewers you get, you have to love the game. You, you just look anywhere, content creators will burn out eventually, and it'll show. And that's why I've always tried to spice it up, because if I am in a bad mood or not in a good spot, it's, it's just going to be so obvious, and it's not going to be good for you guys, so. I have like 40 fish. Sounds like a brag to me, yellow. Also, it's getting pretty clumpy over here. You might want to spread him out a little bit. And A16 says, I'm Japanese. All right. T90, have you ever considered casting other games on the side? Uh, there was a time where I did, so... Um, there was a time where I really wanted to go full-time with this, but I didn't think it was feasible. And so there were a lot of options for me uh, that I was thinking through. Uh, a lot of them was like moving. Many of them were like side gigs. And so there was a time where I, I did play some Rocket League. I was quite good at Rocket League, which is a, if you don't know that game, you have like these rocket cars and it's like rocket soccer, or rocket hockey or whatever. You just like drive into the ball. Um, and so my thought was, you know, maybe I could I could try and work my in, my way into that, and I could like do events for that, and then I could work on my age content on the side. That was kind of my my thought. Um, 
But then, you know, the channel started blowing up, and I didn't really need to, to have to think about that. So I don't really have a ton of interest in casting other games. Uh, there's a completely different barrier of entry there, too, because, like, you're then the new guy on the block, and uh, you've got to you've got to learn a lot, and, and that would take a lot of time. But maybe, maybe, like, way later in my life. Dr. Magnificent loves caps lock. Says, Varon, I have farthest starting island from your base. Let us build a trade empire. Sorry, the person in my in my voice. The person in my voice. Wow. The the person in my head that reads text screams when I see caps lock. And so that's how I read that. Purple says, word of advice. Use combat minimap a lot. You can see allied armies easily and prevent snipes. And yellow says, what's that? At the bottom right corner, the combat minimap mode lets you select which kind of units and buildings appear. Wow, that was very nice advice from Purple. Okay, we have um, trade coming back. 84 gold per trip. For, uh, why does, but he's not bringing it back to his own dock. Oh, that is his own dock. Sorry, it didn't look like orange. It was very hard for me to pick up on that. It looked like gray for a second. But yeah, 84 gold per trip is not bad. And that's what I mentioned earlier, right? Like, having this is the prime spot. See, gray is also trading this direction. Guys, can we talk about yellow's eco number right now? In fact, just overall, 28 pop, impressive stuff. And you can see how far behind you are when you do not fish. We do have the uh, Burmese player on the way to cast sleep, though. Purple says red will be dangerous. He's got Dravidians. Yeah, Dravidians are fairly good on water. That is for sure, but I'm not sure if they're necessarily the strongest on land. But it would be make a lot of sense for Purple, who is one of the strongest players, to start setting themselves up to work on somebody else other than him. Best get some fires ready then, and then Yellow says, I've never seen it. Okay, so this alliance over here, super chatty, and they're also very good players. That's danger for everyone else. <laughs> yeah, so the new ship is called the it's it's like Teresa Day or something. We did see it in the previous game. I don't know. I feel like it's pretty weak against fires. Gray says, "Doesn't that sound lovely, though?" Absolutely loves the caps lock. That also might be a joke because I started something with Caps Lock earlier in the day, but I don't know if he was here. <laughs> Isn't it interesting, though, how we all have our own little voice, at least I do, that reads to them? Like, and I can't even... You guys know what I'm talking about, right? I can't really even describe it. But when you read text, and one is in Caps Lock and one is not, it is read differently in your mind. Blue says, who are you talking to there, Varian? And Varian was talking to him, but he just said, gotcha. I, I don't understand what he, who he's talking to either. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone has that, though. Yeah, I have. Uh, what's it called? Isn't there a word for it? I have heard that not everyone has that, and, and uh, I think it was a subreddit or something. Red, may I have a question to you only? Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is so intimate. Red has not responded, which is extremely awkward, but Red's probably pulling up the chat menu as to find the right settings, and then clicks it and says yes. Ah, yes, internal monologue. Thank you. That's what it is. Yes. I want it to be something that's very random and not based on Age of Empires at all. That would be funny. That's what I would do. How do you feel about green? Is it safe to trade with him? Okay. Okay. Now, Varian has a reputation. For... Now, Varian hasn't done a lot of chatter, which will hurt. And he's also going to hit Imp here in a second, so people might freak out. Red says, I think so. Okay, so purple's kind of singled red out and is maybe 
planting a seed of doubt in his mind. Now Varyon hits Imp. Watch Red go to Varyon now and say, Hey, Varyon, what are you up to? Let's see what happens. Yellow looking kind of scary with that score. Tabasco says, yeah. Dr. Magnificence is true. So from what I can tell, it is going to be three people at least. Like, we're going to have yellow, purple, and orange. They are buddy-buddy. They're all very strong. The other five aren't necessarily against them, but they're not with them either. i got to be careful with how I say things, apparently. TC's here. Turks can be a really tough civilization without gold. They cannot make elite skirm. They cannot get pikemen. So Graves really got to get his trade going. And you can see the trade counts here. Fortunately, there's big differences. You've got Dominius at 38. You've got 34 for um, uh, purple. I think purple is offering me a contract, says Red. <laughs> Look at this. He's a seasoned player. I'm a little worried about him. And Red even responded to him. And Varyon's like, a contract? To do what? To kill you, Green. Dun, dun, dun. That's not very nice, says Varyon. It's not very nice. By the way, do you guys notice that Varyon has uh, a Manganel here? So I think he's saving up to research Ana during cut. He says, in case of betrayal, I am open alliances. And Blue says, how much does it pay? <laughs> Wait, you don't want to say that? Guys, okay. I consider you guys my friends, all right? If we were hanging out and, I don't know, you would be contacted by some person we knew from school who wanted to put a hit out on me, all right? Someone brings it up. I'm pretty sure so-and-so wants to kill our friend Tristan here. The other guy in the room shouldn't say, oh, how much does it pay? That's not the response. That's, oh my goodness, we'll work together with you. We'll help you. Varyon probably not feeling very loved at the moment. No hard prices named yet, just alliances. So that was a good attempt from Purple. Very interesting stuff. Lots of trade over here. And fishing ships just got deleted. They were not diseased. I guess it's just that there's no fish left. Oh, they're all, all the fish. All the fishing ships are traveling for the same salmon. <laughs> oh my god. Oh jeez, that's funny. What are the odds? Every single fishing ship. I guess since the map is unexplored, it's already scouted, so the fish will automatically go to what's left. Hmm, what do we got here? Don't be shy to tell me if you need help. And Red said, I appreciate that. And I think Red honestly appreciates that. <laughs> Purple says, did you talk to someone else? Nah, just you two. Purple says, you should try to talk to others. The more talk, the less threat. So true. So true. Now, I'm a chatty individual, so you might be like, oh, okay, come on. But no. It, we have seen it over the years. It really helps to be chatty. Hmm. I think Blue was laughing because of the, the fish... This massive traffic jam here as players are deleting their fish now. I don't think Teal exactly understood. Teal, by the way, making some elephants, which is danger for somebody or for Teal, if people notice this. But the trade highway still clogged up with fishing ships. Players will have to delete them. Teal says, I'm going to be honest. I don't know where mine went. Yeah. Yeah understandable and purple's like why why would we delete fishing ships and I think people are starting to realize the traffic jam now now the traffic jam doesn't actually help uh, hurt some of these players <laughs> I like I like how they've all realized that that's funny Ooh, onager right now for yellow Again, you could solo and try and make a run for this relic. Wait a second. Hold on a moment. Varyon's got three military, but I can't find it. 
I don't want to miss it. Is there a king somewhere that he could be going for with those onagers? Oh, wait. He's got one here. Okay, I think we're fine. Capture Age will give me an alert if someone's king is in jeopardy. But I think we're fine. But yeah, I remember, I thought he had Onager in, and I guess he doesn't. I guess this was the one that was inside. And now he's researching Onager. Perfect. Red is the player to watch, I think. Dravidian's Woot Steel Halbs are amazing in post and trash wars. Plus to get a skirm bonus. Yeah, but economically speaking, he's in big trouble. I think purple. Purple right now? He's got a lot of trade. He's communicated with, with people all over the map. I think the fact that that blue and green know about that, the fact that red snitched a little bit, um, hurts purple, but purple's got strong allies. Like, these three over here, very strong. Yellow already making a move as well, which could mean the king could move to safety. This, I imagine, was a little bit of a mistake from Teal. This can happen when you're trying to ungarrison villagers from a TC and your king's inside the TC. But if I were yellow, I would say, yo, what's up with those stables there? But also yellow is playing very well, so. Now that the castle's up, yellow might not be too worried. Isn't it cool, though, how this map develops? I really like it. I mean, I think a devastating approach you could take that no one's taking right now is once you have solidified trade on water, you could go full navy, and then you can wipe out everyone else's trade. I think that's probably one of the better plays, but everyone's just freely trading. And looking at stockpiles on a map where they didn't start with gold, look at the gold counts. It's not bad. Quite a few gold workers, but again, help player. 76 trade, Dominius 71. They're doing extraordinary things considering the starting point. Can you hide a king inside Khmer House? You can, yes, you can. I teal, only to you. Long time no talking. How are you? Stressed. <laughs> Blue says he's massing army already. Did he not just say that to everyone? Yes. Who is he excluding from this? I think he's saying that to everyone. Teal says, thanks for checking in, though. What's up? Hmm. Insensitive Blue. This is gray but sorry let me let me say that again insensitive blue you said his but it's they them okay <laughs> true true i don't know who he's talking to <laughs> cabasco's getting a kick out of it <laughs> oh god cabasco's laughing at this <laughs> We now have red says we should keep an eye out or do you want to attack? I guess maybe what was happening there was blue was saw the stables and signaled it. I didn't see a signal though. And to be honest, a lot of people are making military. Gray, what did he say? <laughs> I'm hoping this doesn't become a thing. We should be fine, man. Oh, oh, ooh, the signal. The signal and purple says we must check the relic. Gray says, he's worried about you massing clavery. Clavery, yes. Um, you know, cavalry, clavery. Villagers just had heart attacks over here. Stressful times. And yeah, I mean, Varyon's making a move, but he's got a long way to go. What is good, though, is what if you could buy another castle, granted, you know, the stone's probably expensive, you could place your king further back here, which would be much safer. Could you perhaps make some room for me as well? I could pay for it. Blue says, I... I got you. Teal says, thanks. Let's keep looking out for each other. And Gray says, yes. Or yes! This caps lock is permanently on for that individual. Okay. I do like the consistency that some players have in community games. And in this case, I like the consistency the sticking with Caps Lock for Greg. Not too bad. 
go to the overall resources again. There's a stockpile for you. Plenty of gold. Dominius, it doesn't say he has gold. I wonder why. Is he buying stuff right now? I'm going to keep this up for a minute. Why is he not banking gold with 71 on gold? I think... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. Look at the stone he's been buying. The price must be insane. I'll leave it up because I bet you he buys it again. Red now dropping a castle here. Hmm. Yeah, you see wood being sold for gold. Obviously, they don't have as much trade over here. If you're teal. Teal does have a lot of navy. Okay, and I actually, I gotta remove this because it's just blocking chat. Teal is massing army. Yeah, he's been at it for a while. I got navy to support if ever. Okay. Do you, though? You do. Yeah, that, that would be a problem. Like, right now, I think the issue for Teal is Teal is not really working with the others. Um, well, that's not true. Teal is communicating with the wrong person. Like, Gray is... Gray is gonna help if you need someone to scream at the enemy. Gray is not gonna help with support. And they're worried now. Teal, what do you plan, mate? Sorry, what's up? I plan on living. LOL! Gray says... Can mangoes cut trees? I know Onager. That's true. I, I didn't even think about that. Turk's not getting Onager really hurts here. And the answer is no. Cannot use mangoes against trees, so you would need to work with somebody. Hmm. Oi, Red, stop taking my farms. Excuse me, says Red. Yeah, Bomber Cannons also cannot cut trees. I mean no harm. I'm trading through you, after all. Okay. I would send the, the elephants somewhere else so they weren't worried. Blue and red are worried, worrying about those stables. Now, this is an opportunity for you, Cabasco, to just delete them. You got plenty of wood. Do something as a sign that you are not going to cause any problems says tell them i have four ellas in them i'll eject them lol c okay good job on teal and and very respectful play from purple as we do have a cut from purple which will take some time but towards the corner blue who was offered some sort of payment for space says where's my payment red tonguey face Greedy McGreed McGee over here because I'm pretty sure blue is one of the best uh, Has one of the best positions in the game in terms of stone count and gold income And we had 400 gold sent over and blue says thank you and laughs. Okay Yeah, you can shift Q onager cuts, but Coming from experience is not very easy Because if you miss like let's say you spend all your time trying to cut um, and you're you're selecting the trees, right? If you're one tree off, you queue up the whole line, and then you you didn't open up a gap that you needed to, and then it just ruins the whole thing. So you, that whole minute is wasted. Red says I keep my word, which I, I assume means to work with blue. Notice though how Varian hasn't really chatted to people. Has not been very chatty at all. In fact, he's been the least chatty player in this game. Purple continues to make a move, even bringing villagers here. But I have the stockpiles here. I always have the top three of stockpiles. And right now, purple is top three. Uh, purple is number one in two out of the three categories, but is top three in every s single one. What are those elephantos for? Just asking. And Cabascus' defense, I only have four of them, 11. Does anyone else feel like Yellow is just looking for a reason to kill someone right now? I think Yellow is trying to justify violence. Like, oh, I would feel bad if I didn't have a reason, but this person is doing this thing, so now I have a reason to kill them. It's almost what it feels like, because these guys are gearing up. They're ready to go. This has been a massive buildup. So what's the plan, Red and Blue, says Varian, speaking to his team? We going after Gray, question mark? Purple says, it is getting boring, guys. Well, yeah, someone's going to have to make a move. 
But purple is making a move to the relic. We should think ahead. What do you say? And then Cabasco is still really concerned about being attacked. Varian says, I'll do Rattan and Ram. We hear it will be Eagles from Dominius. If you guys want to waste teal to free some space, I'm down. No! <laughs> What's up with the color teal and being stuck in the middle today? We had a teal player be stuck in the middle earlier today as well. Alternatively, spice things up with the relic. Purple says, that is a good proposal. I will build some navy. You want land? Question mark. Lots of navy from teal, says blue. Which is true, but it's Burmese navy. I don't, actually don't even know if Burmese navy is good. I guess Burmese navy isn't bad because they do get bracer chemistry. Oh, boy. So, Gray and Teal are going to be the next two to go down, then, it seems. Because, well, first off, Gray can't even cut. But Gray and Teal were kind of talking to each other, and they're stuck in the mid. This is why people always try and go to the sides, by the way. Seems quiet. They making more land, and I can't, though. Okay, thank you for the update, Dr. Magnificent. <laughs> Gabasco says... It's okay, friend. We're in a good spot. I have navy, but not land. 11. Uh, either your definition of good is very different from my definition of good, or you don't realize what is probably going to happen to you. Purple did make it here, though, so moment of truth pretty soon. Now, guys, sad, sad times, but I don't think I get a pop-up if there's a relic victory in Capture Age. I talked to them about it, and they said, you know, eventually. But I will tap into the actual game to find out if I have to. Hello, I am taking applications for... And then nothing. Send me a list of qualifications. Vasco says, applications for what? Good question. Yeah, the monkeys will attack and do a pretty decent amount of damage. But they're very low HP. They're only 9 HP. But they have 99 attack. So they'll one-shot pretty much everything they attack. They also don't aggro monks. They, I think they work like wolves. You know how wolves only attack like knights, spearmen, archers, villagers? Is there anyone you hate? And Cabasco says, no, I'm just trying to survive. Oh, come on. I don't want Cabasco to die first. Okay, villager dies to the monkey. Hmm. King just moved over here for yellow. Maybe a little scared of what's to come. King is in the castle here. King is in the castle here. I tried to friendship green, but he silented me. Green, he cut me. Okay, so I think Dr. Magnificent... And this is the first time that I picked up that maybe English isn't Gray's first language, but Gray's doing a good job despite that. Gray is basically saying, hey, Green just opened this up for me. Anytime you're ready, I am. Oh, let's go. So they, so I think it's correct for Purple not to collect this relic yet because it would put the target on him. What you want to do is you want to put the target on other people. You get that relic when everyone starts to fight. Um, you know, for Teal, I mean, it's hard to say, but maybe what would have worked is like, hey, like, let's attack somebody, but Teal doesn't want to attack anyone. Wait! Oh my god, okay, so wait a second. Gray is being attacked by Varian. So I thought they were going to be friends here, and they were not going to be friends. And so this might actually work out for Teal. Because Teal might call over to the southern border and say, hey, like, come help my buddy out. Remember earlier in the game as well, they were talking about Varian a little bit. So that's a lot of Bombard Towers. Obviously, that most of them are going to go down with no support, though. Hey, uh, Orange, what's going on? I see your ships. Uh-oh. Honestly, I think Teal would have enough on water to hold from this. As long as Teal got Bracer. And did get those upgrades. 
Purple says okay now. And there goes Purple. Purple's running to the corner, guys. Purple definitely wants to try and win with the Relic. If the King is going to the corner as well. Yes. Here comes Red with some Yurumi Swordsman. Varian has lost a lot, but I think he wants the King. Can he get the King? He's waiting. He sees the King. He can kill the King. And he's lost a lot of stuff, too. Uh-oh. The turn has happened. Choo-choo! Choo, 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 choo. There's no support from Gray, obviously, because Gray's being attacked and worrying about his own problems. And here comes some rams in towards the castle where the king is for Teal. All the war is being declared. Meanwhile, we have fortifications and blockades over here as Purple is sending everything that's important anyways towards corner. We have red here as well on gray. And now we have blue here on gray. So this is probably going to be a swift end to Cabasco and Dr. Magnificent. Who honestly... It didn't do a lot wrong here. Except for maybe just pick the middle. I mean, pick the middle and be an easy target maybe? I don't know. It's kind of a brutal one, if we're being honest. The Cabasco will need to run out of here. We've got so much though. And they're going to look for the king. Now, remember, there's explosions that happen. So, Teal is able to get into the transport ship and can maybe get closer to someone. But you have to be on land for the explosion to happen. But Teal is running towards the other players. And, of course, at the same time, Gray could go down. I'm looking for Gray. Gray's king is here. But Teal can't really pass. Don't get into the transport again, Teal. You want there to at least be an explosion. Teal upset. Frustrated, kind of trapped here between a wall and a and some galleons. And okay, now I don't know how big the explosion is, but the explosion should range blue. Again, the explosion radius is different. Gray still making a run for it, but I got to keep an eye on this to see what the explosion looks like. And Gray still moving back in a tower now. And whoa, okay, so that was still a pretty sizable explosion. It definitely is a lot smaller than what we're used to with the Exploding Kings games, though. Gray, Gray is staying in this, man. <laughs> Gray is hopping from tower to tower. Respect. Respect. So it's a mini nuke, as they just said. Turk Bombard Tower is OP, though. And now Yellow says, should we go for Gray as well? And Gray says, wait! And he allies to purple. And I think he might try and convince them to work with him here. Accident. Oh, accident. It's like when you accidentally go into dead. Don't you hate that? No, I think he uh, was, when he was freaking out, he might have set purple to enemy. And he realizes how big a mistake that is. Yes. Anyways, I mean, Ray will eventually die here. That That's just how it goes. And... Sadly, like, Gray doesn't offer a lot to either of these teams right now. He can't give them trade. He can't give them resources. It's just open space between themselves and the enemy. Still have not seen this monastery built yet. But we do have walls. And the others are pretty far away. I mean, okay, they could go through here and just take these walls. But still, still pretty far away from things. <laughs> Grad school is one big accident. Oh, man. That's funny. Well, we're going to see this king go down. I don't think Varyon's going to be able to miss out on this attempt. And he'll see it. He'll shoot it. He'll kill it. Gray is out of the game. I feel very bad for Gray and Teal on this one. I feel very bad for these two. Because it was just a game where no one was... You know, things weren't really happening. And... Maybe, maybe a bit of a case of, like, the weaklings getting picked on, but it was just stuck in the middle. Stuck in the middle, not offering a lot of resistance. There wasn't, like, a big reason for them not to be killed. Or him got sandwiched. Now then, green and red are bad news. Blue, too. And they do feel bad. That's good. So it's becoming north versus south 3v3. Yeah, that's exactly what we have here. Yeah, Kobe, I wouldn't stress too much. I thought you played well. The big thing, you know, in terms of the economy is you definitely want to fish. That would just be my only tip. But the Diplo was solid, and just just being in the middle really sucked here. <laughs> but uh, you and 
Your conversation and, and Gray's conversation was really entertaining. I'm really glad you guys were talking as much as you were. Blue, you got that kill? Nah, green did. Arian said, I did, not exploding. Wait, what? There was an exploding. There... Wait, what? Hold on. There was definitely an explosion there, right? Yeah. <laughs> he just didn't see it. So I guess from his point of view, he still sees what was there before. Oh. Wait, so Varyon thinks that there's no explosions because remember, we tried to do a 3v3 originally. I wonder if that will change things. Also, I'm curious if Purple's going to go for it. Now, I think this is the south versus the north. Blue, you got that kill. Yeah, we're back to where we were. I can see why he said no explosion, but I think if Blue scouts this, Blue's going to say, yeah, there definitely was an explosion. This has been cleared out. And yeah, Blue says it did. It did explode. And Varian blaming me, which is obviously not the case. And Varian's is small. And yeah, okay. So yeah, let's talk army comps. We've got Aztec Eagles 9 plus 8 attack. We've got Dravidian champions that are missing a ton of blacksmith upgrades, but hopefully Woot Steel is in. That is an insane upgrade. We've got Vietnamese who can make rats and archers, which is also awesome. Then over here, what do we have? We've got Halbs, Rams, Woad Raiders, Siege Onagers, and Cav Archers from the Japanese player. A16 says I can shove. Interesting use of the word shove. I can shove my navy into their trade when it's going to happen. Yeah, and I think that is potentially a weakness for this team over here. Red's still missing crucial blacksmith upgrades and not having Galleon. You lose the trade, you lose the 3v3. And apparently we're going to see an attempted snipe on Varian, but that's going to take a lot of work. We do have the monk in there. There's Doubt's face. In the monastery, the holy monastery, but uh, I don't know, guys. I just don't see how he's able to actually snipe Green and live up to that promise. Maybe with the cannon galleons. Push yellow now. He's building forward now. Be quick. And A16 says blue is posturing. Be careful. So blue is threatening that he could make a move here is what he means by that. Hmm. Oh, damn. Let's go. I will be ready. Okay. I mean, I think they are ready to deal with this. Champions and eagles with 9 plus 8 is way better than no champions and eagles with a little extra armor. I think eagles, uh, Inca eagles are the worst eagles in terms of eagle v. eagle fights. I think. It's, it's weird how that works. They are good. Don't get me wrong. Lion Eagles typically are the best, simply due to the fact they have 100 HP, but I, I forget if that's an Eagle v. Eagle fight or if that's just overall, because having that HP is so nice when you're not up against other Eagles. And, uh, well, this is going to be a clear up for Yellow, but here Yellow will start to lose his buildings, and these buildings are going to be really important. Hmm. Again, when Purple makes the move, it's the move. It's the move that could have everyone against him. So I honestly, like, you might want to wait until these guys are more engrossed in the battle. There's also a chance, guys. Again, I'm, I'm always uncertain on the settings. It's a chance that it doesn't even trigger a countdown at all. I will have to check and tab into the game, not use Capture Age. Red says, what we do versus Navy. Well, you have to use your own Navy. Dravidians have awesome Navy, but you need upgrades. And Varian says, I have some. Yeah, Varian could help. Oh, wait, that's Varian's Navy. Green focus Navy. I have terrible Navy, says Dominius. Okay, so Dominius is going to focus primarily on land, I guess. Is it 250 years for Relic Victory? I, didn't they make a change recently where it's more depending on how many players are in the game? I think it might be like 400 years now. They made changes to some of this stuff, and my brain is still stuck on some of the, the old, like what it used to be. 
And I have to say, in some instances, I disagree with some of their changes, but that could just be because I was used to whatever. There's just so many settings to remember. It's very tough for me. <laughs> also, maybe like twice over the last year, I've seen someone get a relic on this map, so it's not like I see it all the time, right? Red, are you all okay there? Yeah, I'll throw away my navy to kill trade. Let's rumble, says yellow. Oh, they're going to rumble, all right. And they're going to do damage. However, they are getting pushed on land. Purple says, wait two minutes. Also, anyone notice that purple hasn't really helped at all? <laughs> Seven kills? Purple has not been helping yellow or is also not planning on helping orange. But they haven't called him out on that. Ooh, big shot. Big shot there from that onager. Still in the end, though. The push rolls on. Lots of cannon galleons, says Blue. Worries me. Well, yeah, this is this is a worry. They're going to lose fish traps if they have it. They're going to lose their docks. They're going to lose their trade. It's going to be really bad. We're fine. We have numbers, says Varian. But I, I don't think Varian realizes what he's talking about. Red says we attack now on water. This is an interesting 3v3. These are players trying to coordinate together who... They, they may have seen each other play, but they probably have never played together before. And it's not... It's easier said than done to coordinate with strangers on the internet. Much less in a community game when you didn't start with any stone and gold. You got random sieve. And you've got water and land. And you've got everyone watching. <laughs> I could list more reasons too, probably. Really like the champion switch from yellow. The eagles just weren't going to cut it. Champions will do good against blues eagles now. Uh, champions will still struggle versus Ratens and uh, should, in theory, against the Dravidian champions, but against them. Oh, he's gotten more upgrades now, so that, that'll be a bit closer. Where did the navy go for orange? It's weird how he just stopped. Now, please attack green. So, how do these hussars get over here? Oh! <gasps> We have a big fight over here. I don't know how that even happens. Must have looped around the whole map. Varian is completely pop capped. Now he's got a reputation for struggling at times. And Purple has shown to not be the most aggressive player so far this game. But certainly seems to be a planner. Will Varian notice that where's the gather point for the castle? It's probably forward because of the of the rats and archers, right? There it goes. There it goes. And I think Varian has noticed. Did he not notice? Did he notice? Varian? Oh, he noticed. He noticed. Now what does he do? Okay, he panics, right? First thing you do is you panic and you run. And you hope you don't block your king with the rats and archer. And you hope you don't block your king with the onagers. And you hope that your rats and archers can save the day. Varian it should save the king here. As long as the king keeps moving... Oh, it's so it's such a weak king though. It's so weak. Oh god, he's gotta keep running. He's gotta run towards blue. Can he survive? The Wood Raiders are still chasing. Meanwhile, blue is pushing. And we also have the navy hitting here. Like a million things are happening right now. But I think Varion survives this. Woo wee! What a great attempt from purple though. Varion, great, great, uh, great hold. Great job noticing that. And they will continue their push. Now, for purple, you, you might be thinking, do I go for glory myself now and just grab that relic? And then they, we don't even have it 100% confirmed if that will work yet. That blue will protect his ally here, as will red. And now it is an all out, is an out and out 3v3 for sure. Now, the southern side is not losing trade currently. Okay? The northern side is losing all their trade. Now, what's going to happen is... I assume they have tons of military in queue. So, and they were pop capped before. So as their eco goes down, their military is going to go way up. And you can see that here. They're all top three here. Now, Red's Navy could also get into the trade on this side. So, I mean, they could get some retaliatory uh, trade rating in. 
And I would love to see red focus on that, as well as a few more blacksmith upgrades, but, you know, either or could work out. There goes Varian back home. These guys will need to all push forward. What a great game, guys. This is actually a really competitive game. Very rare that we have that. If red could just get into the trade, can you imagine? Remember, purple needs to help on land. Like, purple need, would help out so much if he had Wode Raiders here. We are not seeing that right now, as well as yellow uh, potentially misclicking there. United, from what I can tell, the Relic Victory should work. Regicide was selected as a secondary game mode, which might be why we didn't get three kings. Ah, okay, I got you, Shulker. Yeah, I just never trusted. And I, I, you know, different patches can produce different results too, so I just never trusted. Still, I mean, he, the monk is at least out of the monastery. He's getting sunburn on his head right now. He's got to pick up that relic, drop it in the monastery, and get into the castle. My navy's tied up in their trade. I have one situation to this war. Not sure to use it, though. What do you think? And I think purple wants his team's okay. But, I mean, he clearly is going to get the win himself. If there was ever a time for purple to do this, now would be the time. But his teammates would hate him for it. I don't think yellow understands. I don't think anyone under... Oh, and the countdown works! Hey, thank you, Capture Age. The countdown works. 350 years till purple wins the game. 350 years until purple wins the game. Also, we just had treason researched, uh, which is why we saw a signal here. That was treason from blue. So blue now knows where all the kings are. And look at Varian. The second he hears that we don't have the noise, so I'll do it. Whoa. The second he hears the noise, he immediately signals and starts to cut. Now, look at... Purple. Purple's waiting. <laughs> and so he's got to get ready to pop up. And also, he kind of needs to defend his team here at the same time. And Purple's like, it is just a precaution. We will win the land war too. But his messages are still going to red. Who is against him now. So that's a chat mistake, which is, of course, understandable because if, if he switched chats so much. So his teammates don't hear that. So like for purple, you've got some concerns here because your team might try and go against you as well. Now look at this. Here comes Varian. He's got to dodge these shots. Well, this is a weird bug. What the? Okay. And okay, there's still one line of trees. But that's not too bad. You know, if he can just take that line out, he could maybe get through. I think what purple needs is more siege and he needs more walls here. Now, the best case scenario is you have a Bomber Cannon Civ. Because a Bomber Cannon Civ could hit from distance. And that's what Varian has. Now we have Yellow say, hey. And I think he's going to start talking to Orange, but they're also fighting a lot. But hey, I mean, credit to Orange and credit to Yellow. They're now pushing back Blue. But of course, Varian isn't here anymore. And we haven't seen a ton from Red either. We now have the navy from purple going against Varian's navy, and I think we'll clear this, but then it'll be close. Obviously, not as much trade working here as before. Blue signaling and laughing. He's like, I'm just going to cut right through and go for his king. The minion seems to really be enjoying himself. I love it when I can just tell that players are enjoying themselves. And okay, here is Varian's point of view. Yeah, it's a very weird bug. Okay, there we go. When he sees, here he goes. I th he thinks he's cut through. He sees a trap. That's fine. Trap's not a. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, that was so funny. <laughs> I mean, you can't blame him either. That's the thing. <laughs> it, it was just a really, really terrible surprise. But now he's got bomber cannons, so he actually outranges and so purple cuts this open and he says hey those walls weren't for me those walls were for you but the micro from varian so good rats and archers need to run out of here with their little legs okay they've been forgotten sad times and the fight continues here and yet yellow and orange are wiping this they're wiping this 
and still the trade runs, but still the countdown goes for purple. So here's what I'm thinking. Yellow and orange are doing so well in their land push that this will reach a point where they suddenly feel confident enough to go after purple. Which will in turn give red and green and blue all the players in the north more time to do whatever they want to do. I think the risk here, and, and this is such a good move to go for Cavalier. Granted, he just lost them, but going for Cavalier against Bomber Cannons was a great decision. Um, now Varian knows, of course, so he's going to send Rats and Archers forward. Oh! Oof. Do they have upgrades, though? Yeah, I mean, he, he will lose these to Rats and Archers. But anyways, yeah, so I think there's going to be a conversation between A16 and Fake News here in a second. All right, Varian, great job earlier not to get killed off by purple. Now trying to get his revenge. Remember, the king is also in the corner. And the countdown is on. This is an amazing map. I'm so happy with it. And blue says purple is going to take the win like this, guys. Now, I think if yellow and orange decided to tell purple right now, we'll kill you if you don't eject that, I think purple would have to because I think purple would not be able to hold against everyone for 250 years. But let's see. You know, that's still a decent amount of time. I will distract green and north their kings. This is purple. I don't know exactly what he's talking about. But I like the walls. I like the scorpions. I like how he's ready. Hey, should we go for team win? No, no. Or try and kill purple. Team... No allied victory allowed. Allied victories for, for chumps. <laughs> um, I don't even think that's an option for them with the settings we used. But I can understand why they would actually want to do that. Oh, big SO shots. Massive SO shots. Oh my goodness. Say goodbye to your cab archers there, Orange. He's probably like, well, thank God T90 doesn't pay attention to stuff. Because he probably missed that one. Uh, good recovery, though. In all fairness. Should be no allied victory. 230 years. Blue is basically... I mean, maybe he needs to say it again, but he was basically saying, like, we have to stop fighting each other because purple might just take the win. I like how purple, though, is trying to tell his team that he's still doing stuff. Like, he just said he's going to try and threaten green or whatever. That's going to make them think that he's still with them. Orange says, I just need to know where Castle is. I think we're about to see Varian lose all of his trade. Um, I, I think the northern side will lose all their trade if this navy moves into position. And another massive shot on the rats and archers. Varian, I think you might have overmade bombard cannons here. <laughs> 25 bombard cannons. An eighth of his population in the, the most expensive unit he could make. And these things will stack up on each other as well. Oh, no! Oh, God! This is so stressful, man. There's now 23 of them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Also, the pathing here. There's not a, even a big choke point. The pathing could be brutal. Oh, God. Oh, no. He's trying. Okay, good attack ground! Actually, great attack rounds! He's backing away. Can you imagine the Siege Onager shot right now, though? Holy cow. You have to snipe red. Orange says, yeah, perp thought this through. Yeah, really good thinking. Really good thinking to time that relic. Had purple gotten it earlier, it wouldn't have worked out this well. But now there's a possibility. Again, I, I think that... The people in the middle need to settle their differences and go after the Relic Carrier. Okay, Varian is saying that he's working on it. He's saying that to Blue. So I guess Blue is counting on the fact that Varian does his job. So Varian, very much focused on killing Purple. But it's a dangerous game against Celt Siege, guys. I don't care who you are. This many Siege Onagers around is just so dangerous. Said he's making it happen. Red also helping, which is not bad. 
And if they could just have a little bit in the way of melee, it could be helpful. The Scorpions are going to have something to say about that. 185 years. We are halfway. Almost halfway. Excuse me. So, Purple's made it this far, at least. Stabilized here. Did red and blue. Um, these Bomber Cannon shots still continue to go. And I think Purple could... I mean, Paladins are on the way. But I think if you don't have the Siege... Oh, that's tricky still. I mean, a lot of Paladins could still do it. They are Kelp Paladins, though. They lack the final armor upgrade. Which is a very big thing when it comes to, to their melee units. At the same time, there's only, what? 19 Ratsun Archers? And Reg Champions have gone down? I think Purple... He, he's just waiting for one big shot, and he's fine here. With this many Paladins. Blue's saying to everyone, for the second time now, we should all focus perp. And Red says heading there right now, but they can't do that if the others aren't also going there. And I think the others are also thinking about it now. And if you're purple, say or do what you want, but you always fight for yourself here. You you already made your you made your bed now lie in it, you know, like don't try and change your strat. Ah! Ah! Bro! What? What are you? Hello? Purple! I might die soon, but you must kill them. They're coming to you! They're coming to you! You're pushing this back! <laughs> Abort! <laughs> Abort! He's also telling this to Red. I don't think he still knows he's telling this to Red. And now Purple's like, huh? Oh, I see. And now he's running. <laughs> But he, he deleted a tile in every single layer of his walls. Oh, God. <laughs> Yellow, stop wasting units to us. Send a perp. I don't see any wasted units. He's winning. We can't let him. And Varian says, go, Red, because the pathing is hor horrible. Purple's king is now back. I think Purple knows now that everyone's against him. As they should be. And I want to say really good recognition. Because there can be some stubborn people out there. And right, rightfully so. Good job from the teams to realize they have to go against this player. Because then they would all lose. Because I've seen people say, ah, who cares? I just don't want so-and-so to win. You know, ah, who cares? Just screw that guy. It hasn't happened here. But now, I mean... Purple's right. I, I think he will end up losing this. But it's just... He, he just didn't have what he needed. He didn't have enough. I think the play here is to one and done Siege on your shots and hope for the best. Like, pop out, fire, and hope they don't take out your Siege workshops. Red, clear that purple ship trade. Yeah, that's, that's a big thing, the fact that they lost trade. Remember, these guys are still trading over here. So if this comes back to a 3v3... We'll have to check the resource bank. I'll look at the stockpile top three. But I think the southern team should be favored there. It's always hard to control who you're attacking against. Like right here, blue is attacking yellow. I don't think he's trying that. It's just the next closest enemy. And here's purple now. Orange is going to pass this. And now purple's dead. Okay, so the relic is in there. There will be no relic victory. And now orange is going to run away. And says deed is done. Yellow needs to clear out though. Because yellow has 62 eagles. And blue says where? They're very confused. And oh no they can't run. Oh my god the gate was locked or something. Oh it's with the enemy gate. Uh. Well horrible for these cav archers. They had to witness half their friends getting blown up like that. But that was a. That was an interesting one to say the least. And yeah, now all this military has to walk back and go to the main battle. And Yellow says, well, because he just lost, Yellow just lost 60 eagles. <laughs> okay, let's look at the resources now. Yellow doesn't have a lot of trade, despite having, uh, being allied with someone who's got a ton of it. Purple actually had the most in the way of resources, 63,000 gold. Yes. Second highest is red with 7k, which, I mean, it's, oh, no, no, then you've got orange with 11, okay. But again, like, Varian is at the limit. 
doesn't have any uh he does not have any villagers on gold right now and when i say villagers it would mean trade in this case and guys someone can go for the relic so if they all leave here if everyone just pieces out and goes back to the main fight i would love to see someone just take the relic still in there they just have to take out this castle and that should be no problem but obviously their focus will return to the fight B go yellow next is what red says love to see the elite jaguar warriors though from blue happy to see that um yeah do you want me to look i'll look in the actual game there's no countdown okay there's no countdown sorry for the confusion there probably good that we double check that Yellow says it was a good game. Yeah, it was nice. I lasted this long. That's already a win for me. Wait, are they going to give it up here? They should. I mean, it is two of them now. And I know Yellow is really struggling for gold. So it will be tough. Hmm. Ooh, we go through here. Interesting. And Yellow's king is actually here. Varyon could kill that king. I don't think he... I think his units are just going rogue here and just going to attack Vils, but... The king could be killed. Said Varyon is pushing, and that's maybe why Yellow said this. And now, if he doesn't have gold, he cannot push back Rats and Archers. In fact, Rats and Archers also destroy Cab Archers. Varyon can do it all on his own. That's before we see the other players come in here. You know where Yellow is trading. They don't have trade. Red's looking for it. They don't have trade. So the Ratten's clearing up these pointy boys, slowly taking out the castles of the Bombard Cannons. This might be a point where Yellow will try and sacrifice the king to kill someone else's king, if Yellow thinks it's this bad. Again, Relic forgotten about at this point. King's still right there. We have tower defense now for A16. A16 should fight, though. I mean, he's got gold. So I would, I don't know, maybe send resources to your teammate. Really tricky to stop Vietnamese with this type of ar an army composition, and, and Varian's done a great job. Except for that one moment where he got surprised by the siege onagers. <laughs> it feels like all the others don't really respect the relic, and they just wanted to stop the other person from winning with it. Man, samurai are sick. Do you see that? Samurai just ate those rats and archers. And now the bomber cannon should die. Yep. Those bomber cannons will go down. And they hold. Okay, king in transport, guys. King in transport. King on the move. Throughout the trade. Is there a path? I'm looking. Um. Ooh, it's booby trapped. <laughs> it's booby trapped, but they could make it. But now blue is coming. Now red is here. He's going to break through. The writing still seems to be on the wall. Still no one wants to take out this castle. If blue were to click the castle, I don't know if purple had murder holes. I guess, yeah, they're going to fight each other out here. If he didn't have murder holes, blue will eventually take down all these buildings. Let's see. Attack the castle. Uh, oh, they got to take the monk first, and then it will prioritize buildings. A okay, monk, now castle. Murder holes or no murder holes? No murder holes! So the castle and monastery will go down, which will mean they remember what's happening. I would go for the kamikaze, but this king, these kings don't destroy castles. Um, Have we seen an example of that? It definitely is weaker. I mean, this is huge. This is huge. I mean, I still think that Yellow could have tried. It would have taken a lot of work. But I think Yellow could have held on with his teammate backing him up and sending him some gold. And then with that gold, he could trade more. <laughs> Blue says, not my trade again. Red, focus water, man. Me and Green will have land. Actually, what is Varyon going to do? Because he has been very silent. Okay, he is still coming over here with his next wave. This is really important, guys. This is going to go down. Monastery will go down. The relic will appear. People can think about it. 
Varian also pointing out that I could trade on land, which is a great idea. I might need to clear up some space throughout the trees. Uh, blue, I guess, is clicked. I don't know. It's like blue clicked units here and yellow's units are chasing blue. But then red is chasing yellow. But the fact that blue clicked there tells me that maybe he is intentionally going to the corner. You know what I would do? I would I would get the relic and I'd be like, guys, I'm Aztecs. I get 33% more gold per relic. Obviously, I'm going to take it. I'm not going to try and win. I just want the gold. That's what I would say. And then four people would kill me. But it'd still be funny. Okay. King is over here for yellow. And not seeing a lot of attempts as far as, you know, comebacks are concerned here. I would love to see trade being made. You know, I think you can get some gold from your teammate. Your teammate's got 5k gold. Just, just give 1k of that to yellow and then yellow could trade up a bit. Wouldn't take that long. But the Cav Archer Samurai combination is very tough to stop. I think you would need to have rats and archers in your force at all times for the northern team. And okay, blue says yellow king and signals. And so that's what treason does. It does give you an idea of what's coming. That said, they don't really have water right now. In fact, red doesn't even have docks. Yeah, they can't get that king. I don't think they have any control over water anymore. Which means they've got no trade, which means it'll really stall out. This game will go on for a lot longer. And blue is gonna Whoa, did you hear that? <laughs> Woo, it scared me. I don't know if you guys heard that at all, but uh we're gonna have a monastery here for blue. Who uh has six K gold but zero gold workers. You heard that. Okay. Um so for some reason, I have my mug on the... It was, like, near my right... It's, like, right next to my chair, like, near my right foot. And I kicked it with my foot because I, like, moved when I got excited about something and it just psh, kicked it. It's good. I don't know why I put my mug there. Red is, red is struggling right now. Thanks. Don't know how they even got there talking about the villagers. A good communication from Varian. Did you drop something? God, now my girlfriend's in chat. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's just someone's king got sniped, okay? And there's this new sound effect with the most recent update. Uh, it's, it, I've been complaining to the devs about it all day. It's a really weird thing. She literally came into chat because she heard the noise. It wasn't that loud. Um... And still very curious what happens with blue here, and if blue is going to make a monk. Obviously would put an immediate target on blue's back. At this point, though, red... Red and green might say, you know what, go for it, pal. Go for it. But this has been a slog, man. This has been a slog. Well, it sounded like you fell. Well, thank you for asking. <laughs> thank you for asking. <laughs> That's funny, man. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know what would be annoying is if you lost 27 houses here. I guess blue is a lot of castles, but... So it seems like we've reached an impasse. Seems like we have, says blue. Yes, we have, but the trade has begun on land, which would require orange to do more than just defend. The possibility, of course, is there, but you have the walls from blue on this side, which would mean... That orange would have to push through the gut. And that is not going to be an easy journey. Blue planning on taking the relic. He's probably waiting for us to die first, says orange. And yellow says, what are you guys doing? But yeah, like, that is that is a good call. But that is something that green and red need to realize and discuss. But I, I think we are not going to see a relic victory in this game. Because it is a straight up 3v3 right now. We learned that lesson before. The same thing is going to happen again. She knows that if T90 doesn't respond on stream, something is wrong. Yeah, pretty much. Nah, screw the relic. We die like men. Yes. Okay. Varian says yes. Hmm. Uh, so basically, this game is going to go on for another two hours then. Is yellow adding more trade? Yellow is adding more trade. Good stuff from yellow. 
Um, from which docks? Probably out here. Yep, adding more trade cogs. Also clearing up purple trade cogs that were in the way. Like, like I said, you get a little bit of gold income, and you mix it all right back into trade, and it ends up being fine. What's not fine for yellow, though, is that his king is out here. That makes no sense to me. But the trade is running through this path. And this is... Yeah, okay, 3v2. Yeah, this is a 3v2. You guys are right on that. If they coordinate... If red, blue, and green coordinate, there's no chance because yellow doesn't have army right now. And... <gasps> Ouch! Rats and archers are just the superior archer here. Despite cab archers having full upgrades for Japanese, rats and archers having 10 pierce armor means that there is one damage a hit from the cab archers. Whereas it's like, I don't know, five damage a hit from a rats and archer on a cab archer? And someone else will have to do the math for me. Red is here. I guess all the population from yellow uh, on water is helping, but at the same time... They need more on land right now, and I just don't know if Japanese... Do they have anything else? Like, we saw Samurai, we saw Cav Archers, you could try Onager, maybe. Yeah, they control water, and they have trade, but then there's, there's land control over here, and they have trade, so... Okay, I have a stupid plan. I will assemble a landing force and try to snipe. Oh my god, he said that publicly. <laughs> Okay, I have a stupid plan. Was your stupid plan saying that to everyone? Blue says, I like stupid plans. Good job broadcasting that, Orange. <laughs> wow, I mean, he was right about one thing. That was pretty stupid. Ah, oh, that's so sad. I feel so bad for him. <laughs> he doesn't, I like how Orange doesn't respond. He just doesn't even want to face it. Red laughs about it as well. <laughs> Varyon says, I don't like that plan, Orange. I veto. <laughs> oh. And Orange says, oh, it was all part of his plan, guys. He says, good, they'll be looking for me. They'll be looking for me. Aha, so he meant to make that mistake, obviously. Again, as we said before, rats and archers just so tough to stop. One of the toughest units in post imp if you don't have heavy siege. And their heavy siege player was the Kelp player, and he died in the corner. Now, I mean, they do have the whole coastline, so if they can get something into a transport, and we can see one villager now, exciting stuff, they could land something. So, I mean, that possibility's there. I just don't know if they have the resources. Yellow is making rams out here, which is fairly interesting. Hmm. On my way, had to mass my nerves, man. Yeah, nerves are flying. But I, I think everyone here has played really well. Would you guys agree? Here we have a cut from orange trying to get to their trade. This is something they need to realize. And blue is now signaling that. And orange just... Oh, he just lost a treb to a rats and archer. I thought he deleted it. But I mean, pretty soon, orange is going to die. Okay, orange's king is right back here, so... Yellow's going to need to really... Get a move on here. Well, the towers are pretty good, but the towers will be taken out very easily. Hmm. Okay, King was just relocated. I imagine they're on edge over here because they all they see is the ships on the shoreline. They've got to know that something could come. But orange is melting so quickly. Oh, <gasps> what was in there? Were those villagers in there? One villager. <laughs> oh, darn. Okay, he lost one villager. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe those were like scouting transports. It's actually a very weak castle, so maybe they could use the fire ship to take that out. The king for A16 is in this keep here, and slowly all the keeps are getting pushed down. But the Trebs are taking out the trade, and they haven't dealt with it yet. What's going on here? 
Trebs with no support are ruining the trade route. <laughs> I mean, Blue is making barracks. I think he's going to deal with it, but how annoying is that? Blue has lost trade like six times this game. But again, their biggest problem is almost dealt with here. Okay, so Yellow, use the fire ships to take out the castle. Yellow, where are your transports? Okay, he's loading up, guys. Wait, will he have anything but rams, though? Like, he needs to have... He needs to have units with the rams to snipe a king. Also love how Cabasco is in chat, and Cabasco is so happy to see the people that backstab him go down. All right. Ratans, champions. Keep going. What's what's the saying? Isn't there a saying about No, I don't think there's a saying. Uh, watching watching someone who killed you go down and never mind don't i'm not really good with quotes they deserve it yeah they deserve it you weren't doing anything with your four elephants they were really paranoid about your elephants speaking of we have some shiny red elephants they look very good they don't look they don't look happy but they, they look very good as far as combat's concerned this group of rats and archers has 108 kills Got new markets coming up. There is a monk in there. He's ready. To, he's ready to drop the relic off. I can feel it. Still no transport for yellow. For those wondering, I'm sure you're wondering. There's going to be so many rams. I want to say 20 rams, but no support. The king needs to run right now. If you are orange, the king needs to run. The end is near. The end has arrived. And as you run, you think about what you've done to Cabasco and Dr. Magnificent. Doesn't feel too good to be on the other side. And we'll survive longer. Loose's trade, because they have to fix the trade. Also, this is kind of funny. Varian losing all of his trade slowly. Do you have anything to land since yellow? I feel like this is a conversation you should have had a little while ago. But now yellow is at least, you know, passing the information along and says, I've got 30 rams. 30 rams with these cav archers could do it. If they could coordinate, how epic would that be? Now, it's very hard for for the rats and archers and, and all the, the lands military for the northern team to do anything about this transport on water. So, but what would happen is they would eventually take out the docks and then there's no potential for trade. Technically, you could trade out here forever. I don't know. Anyways, there's a second king on water for Orange. Orange has not responded. Imagine Orange is uh, overwhelmed and says not much. But that's a lot of ramps. You might as well use scorpions, honestly, or onagers. 7,000 gold for yellow. Blue still maybe thinking about the relic, but I just can't see relic victory working. Again, this is where all your allies come in here for trade, so they can access this really easily. Blue rams. Blue, use rams. Okay, they're both looking at Blue's rams and saying, what are you doing? As they continue their push. And here comes the king and the villager from orange. So yellow is thinking, hey, let's use rams to take down buildings, do you have any military? Orange is like, all I have is a bomb, which also happens to be my life. This is what I offer to you. I offer to you my everything. Would be epic, guys. Would be epic. If yellow can weaken all the castles and, and get the kings close to ejecting and then orange could get the king in there. No, 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 no. Don't try stable units. If anything, you want cav archers. Can you imagine if that if this were to work, though? Now, here's a mistake, though. When things attack you, you, you see a lot of vision around them. So you got to keep the transports away. Okay, yellow has researched trees, and blue immediately hears that. You hear the whong. You hear the noise. So you got to send your vills in, whatever you've got after it, as well as jag. So again, unlikely this will work. You almost have to go without trees in there, I think, because they're just looking for you right now. They're not really... They're not that focused on this fight because it's really easy clear up for them. 
Man, I'm sweating balls so hard. Even my beer is warm now. And apparently there's some lag. <laughs> A16 says, your beer is warm. My noodle soup has gone cold. Yellow says, I'm smooth AF, but uh, not so smooth here. This is a absolute failure. No kings will get sniped. No kings are in harm's way. Red is moving, but uh, just a precaution. And what is this going to be? Cavalier. Yeah. I mean, you got to appreciate the attempt, right? I respect it. But uh, that will be snuffed out pretty quickly, and, and then we're going to see the end. In theory, anyways, for, for the guys on water. Again, if Blue were to get the relic right now, that could be really bad for him. At the very least, he should ask. And Yellow says, I tried my best. That's all you can do, Yellow. I appreciate that attempt. In theory, they could try on for a while because they do have trade on water, but they are going to need to have buildings on land and villagers. And so we must be very close to them calling it here. I almost regret sniping purple. 11. Almost. Now, this is kind of sad for Teal, who's been sitting here <laughs> upset with these guys for sniping earlier. <laughs> and when I saw the sentence, I was like, oh, here you go, Cabasco. Nope, no regrets there. I almost regret sniping purple. Almost. Well, the thing is, purple, they had to snipe purple or they would have lost anyway. So it's the same result. So I think it was a good decision they snipe purple. If they lose now, I mean, they would have lost just earlier in a different way. King is where exactly for yellow? Oh my god. Yellow can research trees and if there's a castle. Okay, king goes down. Yellow is dead. Baryon's king is here. The castle is rather weak. Orange says oof. Blue says what? Lots of confusion. It's hard to find this. When you look for it, it's hard to find it. It's easy for us when we're casting. Will Varyon die to this? Again, it's a weaker explosion. <laughs> he doesn't die, but where's the king gonna go? <laughs> where's the king gonna go? Oh man, that was close. The king is right there. Red brother, till the end, we will win this together. I could take Varyon right now. Blue, I knew it. Let's go! Let's go! Look at this! Look at this bond they have. Meanwhile, wait! Varyon disconnected! His internet dropped. No! And they had the... They immediately celebrated his absence. Oh, Varyon, that sucks. I would suggest muting the stream and also, you know, just not reading their chat over the next couple minutes. Green, they're so happy you're gone. Oh my goodness, you made their week. How? Oh wow, yellow deleted his king. And then orange is saying he must have dropped. And orange is still here. Never want to see someone go out in a drop. That sucks. Yeah, that sucks. Hmm. No, yellow, yellow, question mark. These two are in heaven talking to each other. Okay, so blue and red wanted to be together till the end. There is one person that can change that. And that person has the king in a transport ship. If Varyon's king didn't die to that explosion, though, there's no way that the explosion will do it here. Unless somehow they get an explosion near Varyon's king. Slow and steady, we will retake the water. I'm saving stone for castle. I drop it on shore, then we retake water. Okay. I mean, if Orange was building a wonder right now, I would think a little... Oh my god, build a wonder. What, look at these resources. I guess there's no vills now? Orange might not have any villagers? Yes. Oh my goodness, a wonder would have been epic. You can win with a relic, you can win with a wonder. Baryon, you did a really good job with Diplo. I feel like a proud father in this moment, you know? He's watched his stubborn son 
ate everyone else on his team in all the childhood sports growing up and has now moved on to bigger and better things to work as a team. Okay, so I think what's going to happen here is this. I think that A16 is going to buy stone and is going to then delete this area and try and build a wonder. Problem is, wonders are way... Winning with the wonder is way more difficult than with a relic victory. Relic victory, boom. Relic countdown, immediate. Wonder is wong noise, which I recognize sounds very similar to the relic noise I make because I can't do noises. And then you have to complete it, and then there's a countdown. So it's like twice as difficult to win with a wonder, and you only have two villagers to build it. We'll be here all night. Oh. I kind of trusted Orange not to snipe, but he did. <laughs> I think Purple tried to get away with one, right? And I don't think there's anything wrong with how Purple played it. I mean, Purple could have maybe done, maybe massed more Siege and had more production buildings before going for it. This is not a wonder, by the way. This is a castle. So now I have no clue what Orange's plan is. But Orange has resources. But I guess only has two vills. So yeah, what we're going to see though is an eventual fight back on water, according to what Blue had said. Al Gree's king, he did drop, says Blue. Okay, so they, so they see the king. Okay, so here's hear me out. This this won't happen now because red and blue are making out and they love each other. But Imagine if, like, you got a vill, right? You're in blue's position. You turn Varyon to enemy. Get a vill, and you boop that thing all the way over here. And then if it got really weak, you could turn him to ally again, and you could heal it with a monk. You just boop it all the way right underneath Red's castle. That would be epic. Okay, A16. You, uh, you are dedicated. You sound like... Your name reminds me of a steak sauce. Um, you are Japanese. You have Navy. That's fantastic. You've got hopes and dreams of winning a community game, I'm sure. Show me something here. What's the plan? What What's the move here? So, gentlemen, what are your plans? No, 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 no. We know their plans. What are your plans? Besides... Just sitting here and hoping their internet disconnects like Varyon, which I suppose is a plan. A plan that might work. Blue says retake water as we have a castle going up here. And that's, yeah, that castle's not going to work. But there's no way that Orange can cover the entire shoreline. Red is already over here. So, I guess at the moment, it just doesn't feel like as possible. Now, if red and blue are really okay with being buddies for life, blue should just grab the relic and then just say tough noogies to orange. And what's orange going to do about it on water? Nothing. Blue's a little frustrated because it's hard to get back on water, but red already is. The red just needs to produce here. <clears throat> Jupta, that's an interesting theory. Orange, is, Orange has a proposal here. Tell you what. I'll surrender to the last person standing between you two. Wow, what a deal from the guy who has two villagers. Now, if you had an actual base... I mean, he does have crazy resources, right? But uh, he's not building up anything. Oh my god. Who did that? What happened there? Guys, you can delete an ally's unit. I think Red did that. I think Red did that. Red tried to off Blue. As Blue got the relic, maybe. Yo! Oh my word. <laughs> Again, you can delete ally's units and buildings after they are... Like, after they drop or disconnect or defeat it. 
Okay, red is massing navy. It'll take time, but we'll get there. Um, I'm not seeing any navy production from orange at the moment. Blue will win, not you and blue, if he gets the relic victory. So, so orange is trying to say, hey, you're going to lose too. And now blue says he lies, which is not a good response. This is Diplo 101. Just let your... Oh, man. Because now... Just be honest about it. And Orange says allied victory is disabled. It's last man standing, which is all true. What Blue just is trying to do is he's trying to imply that he and Red will win if he gets relic victory. If that was the case, why did would all those people that were teamed up with Purple try and kill him earlier in the game? Huh. I notice how you have not resigned yet, says Red. Blue says indeed. Now, okay, what's the military pop for Red? Okay, there's that. That's economy, military. Unfortunately, Red, you have to delete some military. You're at 200 pop. And you are going to need more population on water. If you're willing to let blue win, then I don't have it against you. But are you really going to? Okay, so here, here's my, my only my gripe at the moment, right? So we're looking at Orange, who has 31,000 wood, 64,000 food, 10,000 gold, and continuous trade, which is huge. What I'm not seeing from Orange is any attempt to build a new TC. I'm not seeing any attempt at making more Navy. I'm seeing chat. And I get that, but you can't... Like, this is... Okay, now we're seeing some engagements. But I'm just not seeing, like, a lot of movement here to use those resources, which which would make me feel better about the chat. <laughs> but that said, as I say those words, Orange has moved in now. And I think... They're both at a crossroads. They're really struggling. Red, we will go down together, brother, says Blue. Yeah, but, but you guys need to get water to be able to kill Orange or the relic victory happens. Blue, what do we do now? I don't want to fight you. Yeah, I need to get water. There's, there's lots of avenues for them to get back on water. It'll just be a pain. <clears throat> that... Or they could start making a wonder. Like, there's no way for Orange... Again, there's no way for Orange to win the game except to convince Red, I guess, to take out Blue. Red says, What do we do? I don't want to fight you, but I will if you go for relics. Delete farmers! Delete pop! Delete champions! You've got res! What's your, what's your, your gold count? I guess red doesn't want to delete champions because red doesn't have a lot of gold. And neither does blue. I need to get gold for stone. Lost all stone earlier, says blue. I think that's honesty from blue. But the trade is going to be... They've got the trade fixed now. So the trade being fixed means blue is going to have tons of gold. And red is saying you eject that relic at 200 years. And then Red says, I cannot fight Orange, though. You you can, but you don't have pop space. If this was a 300 pop game, Orange is probably dead. Then again, Orange, I don't think, is fully popped either. Orange has less than 64 military and is less than 61 eco. I just... I'm, I'm getting a little antsy because I'm not seeing a move from Red. Which I guess he's a little unsure on what to do. And I'm not seeing a move from Orange. Blue is at least waiting till he gets gold, right? Because he's trading. Red is trading now? Okay. I don't really want to sit... Like, what would have been epic for Red is to get TCs, make more vills, and go for a wonder. You've got the resources. Come on, guys. This game is so good. I don't want the last 40 minutes to be a snore. You've got this. Move. You've got it. Again, Red's pop capped and gave up on water. It is like he had this dock queued. 
but kind of stopped. Also, still missing some blacksmith upgrades. <laughs> okay, we do have orange making light calf now. Okay, so that's something. I guess blue is thinking the only way that I can possibly get back on water is if I castle. And that is not not the case, by the way. There's plenty of, of ways to get to water if blue were to, to send villagers. Over here, though, certainly. Like, all blue seas, there's a lot of navy from orange. Now, like, this is what I was waiting for. Now orange is getting upgrades. Now orange is actually going to attack. And this is where things start to change. Like, this is where you could actually do something. This is what I was waiting for. It just, it took him, like, 10 minutes to actually build up. So now we have action. Japanese light cav? Eh, not the greatest. We'll probably continue to lose them. So my thing for red is like, you don't want a blue, you don't want blue to win with that relic, and I guess that's understandable. But you and blue need to be working together to take out orange then. And so for that, you've got to get rid of you got a sense to get rid of some pop. 71,000 food and adding more farmers. These are villagers that could be deleted for more pop space. But pop efficiency is a rather complicated thing to get to. Yeah, I mean, Japanese cav just sucks. It, the, lacking final armor and lacking bloodlines is just not good. But when you have 60,000 food and you can back it up with rams? Maybe. Blue ejected the relic and has now re-entered it as a sign of good faith. That he's not going to win with Relic Victory. Alright. We've got two docks, man. Two docks. I, anyone else want Orange to win now? I kind of... My, my, my thoughts are shifting a little bit. And to be honest, the players seem a little stuck. They don't know what to do. They're very unsure on how they can do this. Hey, 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 hey! Woo! Let's go, baby. We've got more docks. Blue's adding docks. Heck yeah. Has 155 eco, by the way. How does he have 155 eco? 66 trade, and I guess, like, 90 villagers then. 66 trade. I guess I don't have an eco breakdown. Has quite a few villagers. Stockpile's also pretty high. With... Oh, here's the breakdown. Okay. Has a lot on wood, I guess. This is interesting. The champions will actually help out a lot here. Yeah, I mean, aren't you just sitting here? And guys, Blue doesn't see this. Dominius doesn't actually see this. Or at least he hasn't reacted to it. It is very possible that the king goes down here. Orange could do this. Now, Blue is, is certainly focusing on water, but it's also pop-capped. So my tip for like the really long games, by the way, is um, my tip for the really long games is if you're floating over like 15k resources and you don't have pop, start to cut off some of that population, even if it's just like 10 or 15 villagers. The food counts the, the clear one here. Usually it's wood. Normally you don't have 70,000 food. Normally it end up being a few lumberjacks. Now I need pop space for navy, says red. Yeah, so red, uh, sorry, not red, a uh, blue who is realizing the situation. And red is like, yeah, I'm having the same problem. But they didn't get rid of pop. And guys, look at this. Blue sees it. And Varian's here to defend from the dead. <laughs> okay. I mean, blue needs to run, and now blue's running away. But I guess if they lose their trade, it's awkward. I will try to deal. You go water, says Red. Yeah, so Red will deal with this. This is why I think this game will go on for a lot longer. Because Red will clear this because the champions. Blue actually could could lose a few villagers here and be better off for it in the end. Um, and I don't know, maybe Red will lose some champions as well. Now Blue's massing fast fires. Okay, now blue, blue will just get enough navy to surround this and it'll be fine. 
Orange, orange isn't producing a ton here. Okay, so here's a question for my chat. Red doesn't want blue to win with a relic. If they kill orange, what's the plan? Because somebody needs to win. Right? They could do like a little ceremony. You know those guys like to do that? Oh, this is huge! Yes! Blue is losing pop to the navy, and red is losing the champions. Orange thought that the land raid was going to help him. This will actually hurt him because then they're going to have so much stuff on water. The calf disappeared. By the way, Japanese do get bloodlines. My bad. They lack the final armor. They used to not get bloodlines. But even, even with getting bloodlines, it's less than generic calf. It is, I'm not saying Orange shouldn't make it, by the way. I'm just saying it's just not strong. Not compared to the infantry we're seeing, that's for sure. I'd like to see Blue have a little bit of patience here. You know, uh, wait until you've got that critical mass. But Blue's going to come in here. And Blue is going to attack. I think. There we go. And that should be a fight that Blue will win. Orange not producing at the moment. Obviously has the resources too, which, you know, could set us up for a long one here. As if this hasn't already been long. <laughs> yeah, Blue continuing. Aztecs, I don't think get Cannon Galleon. Red's not going to dock down here as well. But getting fast fire is, is more than enough here. And what, what they'll need is they're going to need some Galleons, which I guess Red is going to do now. Yeah, it was kind of like every player had a bit of a brain fart. Their brain stalled out and they didn't know what to do for a bit there. But now it's actually moving. Now you've got, you know, Orange tried to attack on land. Red and blue found an area onto water. Yeah, Aztecs not getting Galleon. It pretty much, I don't even think they get heavy demo. But fortunately, fast fire is really useful. Yeah, I mean, Orange should realize this and make more navy, right? As we cross the three hour mark. Okay, trade continues to run. Gold count continues to rise, probably for blue. Yeah. And yeah, they just need... What they need is they need red to remember blacksmith upgrades and just make more navy here. But, you know, if... If blue keeps that relic in there and they all forget about it, we do get a win in 200 years. I just really don't want to wait 200 years. <laughs> because I feel like this is a game that is kind of over... But Orange doesn't want to accept it yet. Orange played a really good game, though. Look at the kills. You can see the total kills here. Orange, quite a few kills. Actually has the highest in this game now. Obviously did have to turn on a teammate that kind of went rogue for the Relic earlier. Orange pushing over here. It's going to lose this fight. United, did we ever replay the April Fool's map? That was really fun. Now, we never replayed it. it. It felt like it was, uh... It probably wasn't too fun to play. <laughs> I think it was fun to watch. I don't know if it'd be too fun to play. And for that reason, I felt a little bad. Red says, not sure what I'm doing. You're fine, man. You're fine. Now that you're making Navy, you're good. Again, I, I could tell that they felt a little lost earlier. But uh, not having ranged upgrades is going to be really painful situation over here. In an ideal world, if the stockpile of wood was there, and it is, we would see more than just like four docks. And we'd see like ten. Um, Screw it, making demos. No, don't make demos. I don't think you get heavy demo. You just need to coordinate your attacks. You're good. I'm actually not exactly at live time, by the way. At least I don't think I am. I'm going to click speed up and see where we get to. I don't know, guys. Such a good game, but they're max pop, and this game is never going to end. Like, Orange has 22,000 wood and 10,000 gold, and he still has water trade. So the gold's not... Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait a second. 
Actually, he has one trade now. Blue's got a moth in his room, so he's got to deal with that. Yeah, he actually only has one trade. Also, we're at 177 years. Okay, red massing the navy that's not upgraded. You're 10 minutes behind. Well, it won't let me speed up at this point, so... I don't know if I can speed up in the game, maybe? Oh god, what have I done? Okay, I'm not going back there. <laughs> it was super freeze, freezing up there. Now, their trade's fine. I, I think they might have had an issue with their trade before. Their trade seems to be fine now. Yeah, Orange is happy to weather the storm. But again... Is there a way that Orange can actually win the game? No. Would a wonder be his one condition of winning the game? Yes. A building a lot of players forget about. Probably too late, though. Because if he started to build the wonder before, they haven't been able to push him on water. He would have won. I mean, that is... What it might have done, actually, is that might have allowed Blue to... to Get the wonder victory or the relic victory red might have been maybe been okay with it and orange has the resources but he is low on gold now compared to where he was before he's got 8k gold which is obviously still a lot here comes red who is going to lose his whole navy <laughs> no <laughs> no Guys, help me! <laughs> okay, this is all fine. As long as Blue never ejects that relic. I swear, if Blue ejects that relic, I might scream. Okay, so you should prepare yourself. I'm okay with waiting this 140 years. We've made it this far. But if Blue ejects that relic, I am gonna lose my mind, man. Poor Red is going to rewatch this and be like, Ah, oh, I missed two blacksmith upgrades. Ah, oh, I was just laughing at that guy for making that mistake in the community game earlier. Demos aren't bad, by the way. Demos, demos are a good addition against fires regardless. So, especially if there's no micro on them. Oh my god! Must be satisfying, too. And that's all we're seeing. We're only seeing fast fires from Orange. But now he's going to switch in the galleons. Yeah, so that, that would be... This would be where the demos look a little weaker. If he were... He had... Oh my god. Okay. Uh, it's been a long day and I looked. Someone said eject in chat. And I looked at the screen and I didn't see it immediately. And I freaked out. Like I saw the monk and... Oh. Almost lost my mind. Anyways. Red. Again. Doesn't have two blacksmith upgrades. It should be eight plus four. It's not 8 plus 4, it's 8 plus 2. Varyon is here to help, though. He's got Bombard Cannons. Varyon has actually done a lot after getting defeated. And you look at the stockpiles for Orange. Orange has... He's adding more trade. Oh, pain! Pain! Spoiler alert, Blue will eject at the three-year mark. He better not. He better not. If he, if he ejects this, I will be so upset. <laughs> uh, Blue says, sucks that I have such bad navy. Yeah, it's, it, you know what really sucks? Is how you've ejected that relic from your monastery early. <laughs> and how orange won't make a wonder. <laughs> and how red still has 80k food and won't delete farmers. <laughs> and won't... Didn't make more than four docks. <laughs> okay, here we have here we have blue. Three hours in, says you have all upgrades for navy. By the way, question mark. <laughs> uh, and I I don't know if he's asking red or if he's asking orange, but orange responds. Please tell me we see bracer come in. That should, that should tell Red. I mean, that message went to Red. Maybe check the Blacksmith here. Remember, Blacksmith arrow upgrade works for Navy 2. Okay, here you go, Blue. Let's go. Demos as well. Bada bing, bada boom. 
Blue, just keep red talking. Honestly, you know what I hope? I hope Blue forgot about the relic. And Orange even says, oh yeah, I noticed he didn't have Bracer on his navy. He's saying that directly to Red. Blue doesn't even see that message. I don't know what's happening, but I can tell you a great back and forth game that has turned into a long one. And guys, thank you for being here with me. Almost got all the docks orange. Then what? We'll get it now, says Red. Yes. Yes. There you go. So Red's going to get those upgrades. T90 has been breathing heavy. I'm going to breathe a lot heavier if that relic comes out of the monastery. I swear. Blue, if you, re if you eject this relic, I will be so upset. Okay? I will be so upset. Do not... I swear, do not eject that relic. <laughs> That's the only thing that matters now. I don't give, I don't care about orange and red and blacksmith upgrades. All I care about is this countdown, guys. <laughs> we have been through so much. So much. We need to see this game end with that relic. Come on. Here comes the Navy. I have no faith. That one doc from red and constant demos from blue can do it. I, I just, it's not going to work. Not against galleons, no. Nope. Red does have plus three now. I guess he's missing chemistry otherwise. Maybe ballistics? I don't know. Oh, my word. Come on, blue. <laughs> just keep him talking. Or just forget about it, all right? I hope everyone forgets about it. Remember, red was very clear earlier. I don't want you to win with that relic. For whatever reason. Okay. Blue relics. No. 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 Blue, don't do it. You're so close. You can fight him off. Who cares how long you've been friends with him? Friendship isn't important. I Blue. He says, what about it? Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, you laugh. That's it. That is my boy right there. Red says LMAO. That's it. Now, Red, don't you move those champions. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Put them back! <laughs> Put the champions back where they came from. <laughs> they really enjoyed the farm life. They're tired of war, okay? They're tired of war. It's been such a long, brutal life for them. Let them have some peace and harmony. Ah, uh, well, as promised, if you're willing to go down <laughs> to let Blue win, then I respect you. And you had your chance after all, Red, and you chose to settle for second with him. Red says, lost track of the relics, frowny face. Second is great. Blue says, I didn't. Blue, if you don't make military right now, I'm going to scream. Blue, lock the gate. Yeah, lock the gate. Yeah, that's right. Locking the gates, adding the walls. Is there anything else down here I need to worry about? Okay, oh, oh, oh no, please, Red, don't notice that. Please don't notice those elephants. There's such an easy gap. No, 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 please, 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 Red. Please don't notice the elephants are there. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. 15 years, okay. Red says, viewers of the stream, I am sorry. Should I eject it just to troll T90? Blue, I swear to God. Don't you do this. It, it's not content. I know what you're thinking right now. This is going to be so funny. And people are going to laugh. And people are going to remember forever. If you do this, I'm going to be so upset. Red says, I think you deserve the win. Yes, he does. He does deserve the win. And Orange says yes. Everyone agrees. Everyone is in agreement. Three years. Please no. Two. One. Please win the game. Please win it. Oh. We've arrived. Oh my god. We have arrived. We did it.
it was like for the last hour of that one, it was like who doesn't want to win the most? Um, but we finally arrived. The relic victory happens. Small caveat that's at the tail end of this. Very awkward. If you've ever had all that pop on land and then you need to get on water and then you have all this on water and need to get on land. Very awkward. The separation it does not make it easy. And then, especially with how freaking stubborn everyone was in this game, we got there. Uh, Dominius gets his win. Dominius played like a beast this game, honestly. He, we saw Jags. We saw Sea Jonagers, Eagles, um, Water. You know, we, so many different things were made uh, by Blue in this game. Uh, 858 Eagles, by the way, as the max. And we haven't seen Eagles from Blue in a very long time. So played very well here. And, and so did A16. So did uh, Multifocal. Um, I hope that my... Uh, frustration near the tail end on how long that one had got wasn't too bad for the viewers, but I did have a really good time. Honestly, it was a really good game. Feels bad for Varian that he disconnected. Uh, I do feel bad for him about that, but it, it can happen from time to time. And feels bad for Kabasco and Dr. Magnificent, who was screaming at the start, uh, but still a very good game. Unfortunately, not exactly what we had set up to do here. We wanted to do three Exploding Kings. I'll have to talk to the map maker on that. I'm guessing the new patch kind of uh, means we have to, to rework something. But we had some good Diplo in this one. We had good back and forth fighting in this one more than anything. The 3v3 action was interesting. Well played from purple and blue to go for the Relic, though. The, the Relic makes this map so much more dynamic. And... Uh, you can see the total KDs. If you miss some of those stats today, you can see Dominius had more trade profit, more food, and more wood than anyone. And a uh, very long game. A very long game. <laughs> and uh, one for the ages. Let's put it that way. I, I really wonder what my reaction would have been, though, if he would have ungarrisoned that relic. So here's the deal. I asked um, players who played in the games not to chat after they're dead. Um, or just in general, because it can create confusion. And this player here, little troller boy, said around 100 years, I don't know if you guys saw it in chat, you're 10 minutes behind, Blue, uh, what did he say? Blue um, ejected the relic at three years. And I don't know if you're still here, but that was mean, because I was watching the countdown, and I remembered that. Now, I did not address that comment, because I did not want to encourage any more shenanigans. But I was like, oh, God, you're kidding. Does he actually do it in three years? So thank you for lying, I suppose. Um, it certainly added to it. <laughs> yes. Yes, that was mean, man. That was mean. I fully expected the, the relic to eject there, especially after Dominia said, should I do it for content? So.